Hi Lisa B's Creative World and YouTube friends, um, hope you're all doing well. Uh, so this is going to be my end of April um, finished up colouring pages. Um, there is not a lot, just to warn you, um, it's not been a great month I'm afraid. Um, I have my little cousin's funeral and I also had an abscess um, and I had to wait really long for a dentist appointment um, because they were obviously bat backlogged and by the time I got a dentist appointment um, they had to pull the tooth and then I had an infection and I was very very ill and had fever and everything so wasn't doing much colouring I'm afraid but I am on the mend so with the positive we're not going to be down this month it's going to be into May a happy month so, and May is mermaid, so get your mermaid colourings out. So, back to April, it was Easter and yummy food. I have slightly gone off uh, on some of them, um, but I coloured what I fancied colouring. So, as you can see from my little chart, I um, only missed out two categories, which was the big Disney books and the colouring haven books, just heaven even. There wasn't anything I fancied colouring in them. So, on to the list. Oh, there's a big glare. So, first is um, one from my random books. So, I'm starting with A Unicorn Town by The Colouring Hive. Hive? Oh, I can't speak. Blur. <laughs> and this is actually a buddy colour with Lovely Nikki from Nikki in Niagara. And Get Well Love. I um, hope you're feeling better if you're watching this. And we did this lovely colour in and I don't know if it'd be over on her channel at the moment because she's a little poorly um, but I'm sure it will be up at some point. So um, there we go. Lovely bright colours and Nicky's was lovely as well. So it's, you know, it's fun. Not technically Easter because not hunting any eggs but, you know, it's a fun one. They could be hunting eggs, couldn't they? That's what I'm going to say they are. They're hidden somewhere. Anyway, moving on. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, got another random books. And this is from my cute and easy quiny colouring by LJ Knight. And this, I've just gone completely off topic. <laughs> are you ready? I wanted to colour the dinosaur. So I coloured the dinosaur. <laughs> So there he is. Looks very jolly. There we go. So that's that one. And everything, as usual, is coloured in pro markers and stationary island markers, which are seriously dying. Might be another reason why I haven't coloured a lot. I need to buy some more. Uh, right, so the next one is one from my Light Burst books. So I picked the fashionable 50s and going with the yummy food theme here I did this lovely diner lady and she's covering some nice burgers and fries and speaking of really yummy food I was oh, I was in quite a dark place this month and not being very happy and then my neighbour told me that there is a Taco Bell in Bridgewater which Bridgewater is about half an hour drive away from us and I was so excited. I mean, for all you Americans out there, that's not exciting because you have it all the time. But we don't have Taco Bell. So, and there's, like, the only ones I knew of were ones in London and one in Scotland. And they are not accessible for me. <laughs> they are very far away. Um, so, one this close to home... I was so excited. So, we went to Taco Bell on Saturday and, oh... It was great. It was, oh, yes. So, so happy. Something, you know, to make you so elated by some tacos. I didn't technically have tacos. My husband had tacos. My son had quesadillas. And I had, like, this big sort of crunchy wrap thing that was filled with goodness. Mmm. And pe paprika fries and churros. Anybody hungry? <laughs> so, yes, lovely diner. <laughs> I like how that one came out. And moving on. 
we have Hannah Lynn. Oh, got too much here. So, Hannah Lynn, this is the Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays. Hannah Lynn. Um, and I did, well, obviously, the Easter one. <laughs> Doll. So, there he is. I did the easy one because I couldn't be bothered to do all the background. Um, if you want to see the hard one, well, it's not hard, but it's got more background, but I couldn't be bothered. So I did the nice easy one. <laughs> there she is, getting all the chocolate bunnies and eggs and so on and so forth. Very cute. Right, next. Oh, sorry, hit ya. Um, Jade Summer. Now, yes, I've gone off topic again here. <laughs> um, I decided to do this one. Um... Um, but I did, I did it light. See, uh, most people were doing the girl sort of like um, out of the ring. Remember her with the long hair and the scariness? Um, but I decided that I might do it like she's gone to the funeral. You can tell when this was near. Um, and this is actually like the angel. Like the angel of, um, or a, a, you know, heavenly ghost of some sort. And this is whoever has passed. So I did it sort of like a bit nicer. Because um, normally I would like gruel it up a bit and there'd be blood everywhere and, you know, it'd be dark. But I went on a slightly night lighter note. Uh, so, yeah, that's that one. And um, I also, from Jade Summer, decided to do the Mad Hatter because um, yummy food. So got all the tea party food behind and just wanted to do some nice bright colours and, you know, there we go. He looks good, doesn't he? Then, next one, I did uh, Deborah Muller. So I did from my girlfriend's colouring book. I did three in this one. Um, I did, I did this lovely one. No, I didn't. Did I? Don't know. I thought that was last month. No, it must be this month. <laughs> I'm losing it, aren't I? So yeah, I did this lovely one. I did this as me. I've actually got those pajama bottoms. Me and my friend Rachel, and uh, we're just having a lovely time with our pink sunshine wine, which is what we call Californian wine because Mummy from uh, Why Mummy Drinks. And my mummy swears uh, she calls it pink sunshine wine so we've adopted that so we've got a pink sunshine wine and technically I only drink Californian rosé as well and got a pizza which I wouldn't technically eat because I'm allergic to yeast <laughs> but I love bit pizza um, yeah so we're just having a little nice night in there and the next one I did I did this one because life is meant for good friends and great adventures. I was feeling very friendy because uh, my friends have been a wonderful support um, at this time. So I, I was loving the friends. <laughs> there they are. So these ones I haven't named. I've just done them random and we've all got dark hair. Well, technically I've got grey hair now, but, you know, we had dark hair. <laughs> so I've just done them all dark. And then, to emphasise the, the grey hair, um, I've um, done this one. And I thought this could be, this could be, apart from the dogs are wrong, this could be my mum and me, maybe. Because we both, yeah, my mum likes to dress a bit hippie and whatnot, and I like to dress a bit sort of smarter. So yeah, I'm going to go with this is my mum and me. And the dogs are wrong, because she has cats, and I've got a dachshund. And um, it's not all grey at the moment, um, it, but it will be soon because I'm going to go to the hairdressers and um, get silver um, highlights put through it so that when the grey grow, well, as the grey grows, it won't be so prominent with my dark brown hair. So um, hopefully that'll look all right. Um, got consultation on Saturday, so go and look a bit better. And that was very brave of me because I have issues with hairdressers. Um, not that any hairdressers out there, they're probably lovely, but I have issues with appointments in general because my anxiety. So I don't like telephones, I don't make appointments, don't like going to places. So I did sit there with the phone for quite a while before I rang, rehearsing what I was going to say. <laughs> but I did it. I have a hairdressing appointment. Anyway, so there's that one. 
Then I had a yam puff one. So I did this lovely girl, this little Easter bunny type girl. So, yep, she's pretty. Then um, any girls' books. So I got a couple of these. So I did um, one of my Gothic Cuties by May Yu. She is turning out books like there's no one business. She has got so many new ones. Um, so I just did this one because it was an easy one. So Little Angel and Little Devil. I just thought it's cute and easy. So yeah, that's all I did in that one. And then I did one in the True Romance one. And this was a buddy colour. And I did this buddy colour with, I've wrote it down this time, <laughs> so Missy's Colouring Craze. That's um, her YouTube um, handle. And then for her Instagram is that, if you want to go check her out. Um, her one is on there and she's done it brilliantly, of course. Um, and this is my one. And we did In This Together. See, I even wrote it on the little tag as well, so I didn't forget your name this this time, <laughs> Missy. Uh, right, so there we go. Nice and bright and cheerful. Then also out of the girls one, I did uh, one out of the Chibi Girls. And this one is, I think this is Alice Brockmere. Oh yeah, get me in my guessing, Alice Brockmere. And I did a yummy food one, so I did these donuts. The little girl in the donuts. So yep, that's it. And then I've just got one more sort of colouring ish. Um, this is from Human Faces, and this is a puzzle colour by Numbers. Um, and I did this one here. Who it says famous actor. And then you follow like you follow the grid things and you fill out the squares on the grid. Now I don't know who this is. I feel like I should know who this is. Chuck Norris maybe? Don't know. Um but I don't know who it is. <laughs> so yes, I did this one. And it looks much better on camera than it does in real life. It's weird, isn't it? So there. So that's all I did this um April. So as I said, May is going to be Mermaid, so we're going to get some mermaid pictures, which is really good because I love doing the Jade Summer mermaid ones. Um, okay, so if you've liked this, please like, feel free to subscribe and comment, and I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Take care everyone, bye!